Hi everyone, it's Monday again, isn't it? Monday, where do these weeks go? It is in theatre, isn't it? Things seem to go extra quick. Amazing, anyway, never mind. Um, right, as Boris Johnson jets off to wherever he's jetting off to and goes on holiday, we're going to bring you some more theatre news and some good old shout-outs. Do you remember those? Um, here we go. So... <clears throat> Barn Theatre Trust from Welling Garden City in Hertfordshire. They're doing a bunch of amateurs very soon by Ian Hislop and Nick Newman. Now we've talked about a bunch of amateurs a long time, for a, for a long time now. A brilliant play it is. And a brilliant film it was with Burt Reynolds, of course, Derek Jacobi. They were all in it, weren't they? All of them. Um, Melda Staunton. Right, um, let's, let's get going anyway. So it says... Um, this comedy with a dramatic twist features a fading Hollywood action hero who is keen to boost his flagging career. Jefferson Steele arrives in England to play King Lear in Stratford, only to find that this is not the birthplace of the bard, Stratford-upon-Avon, but a C.P. Suffolk village. Isn't it called Stony Stratford, I believe? I know the name Stratford's still there. And instead of Kenneth Branagh and Dame Judi Dench, the cast are a bunch of amateurs trying to save their theatres from developers. Jefferson's monstrous ego, vanity and security are tested to the limit by the enthusiastic Amdram thespians as acting worlds collide and Jefferson's career implodes. He discovers some truths about himself along with his inner Leah. And um, I hope you have a great time with that, Barn Theatre Trust. And if you just go to barntheatre.co.uk, you can find out some more and get some more content details. North Enden Players Theatre Club, or NPTC, in Manchester, up in the northwest, are reopening for the very first time, and they're doing that with something they're calling the North Enden Arts Festival, and that is um, a celebration, a real celebration of restarting, and it features various third-party artists, and also the North Enden Players Theatre Club themselves, in no less than six or seven different productions as part of the reopening festival. Um, they're, they're reviving lots of one-act plays from the group's past and all that kind of thing. So um, you just have to go to northendonplayers.co.uk but I'll give you a quick rundown of what's going on. Um, now I don't, what I don't know is if whether you have to become a member of these societies to buy tickets or whether the public can buy tickets. You'd have to contact um, the website North Enden Players, that's North Enden Players .co .uk, and um, you have to find out for yourselves. Um, but the the festival goes from the 28th to the 31st of October, so it's coming up quite soon. And it's at the new theatre in North End and Manchester, M22 4WL. By the way, i just let you know that a bunch of amateurs at the Barn Theatre is going on at AL86ST. And that's from the 15th to the 23rd of October. So that's really, really soon. But get back to North End and Arts Festival, which goes from the 28th to the 31st of October... At 3 p.m. on the 30th and the 31st of October, they're doing an old-time music hall. Join us with Nigel Mackin as MC for a nostalgic look back to the good old days with NPTC members and friends coming together to provide a varied and entertaining programme. With songs, sketches and dance, this event provides a whistle-stop tour down memory lane with audience participation, of course. Dressing up is optional, but feel free to come along in your favourite Victorian outfit as they did on the good old days on the BBC, you remember that? 7.30pm um, on the 28th and 8.45pm on the 29th of October, they're doing Songs of Stage and Screen, which is our very own Alexandra Seven and Kirsty Muldoon, who were both last seen as ghostly figures in Blythe Spirit, probably a long time ago, I should think, um, together with Sam McVeigh and Matt Holker, um, they appear back in the theatre during the festival for a concert of songs of stage and screen. We are looking forward to some of our members showcasing their own singing talents. This will be a popular show, so please book early. Well, it's happening this week, isn't it? I should think. Or next week, rather, the 28th to the 31st of October. 
So that one's on the 28th and the 29th of October. And at 6.30pm on the 28th of October, they're doing duets by Peter Quilter. And there's two one-act plays there, Blind Date and The Holiday. And this revival for P NPTC is a pair of short two-handed comedies, first performed in the round at the Church Hall. We are delighted to perform two of the four plays once again, Blind Date and The Holiday, as I've just said. They are a gloriously funny examination of sometimes chaotic world of love and relationships and why the grass is never greener. At 7.30pm on the 29th and the 30th of October, they're doing Ways and Means by Noel Coward, which um, of course are the um, one-act comedy plays, um, and this is just one of the ten that make up the series called Tonight at 830 and I've been in one of those, actually, or two of those. Um, Still Life, Fumed Oak, I've done myself, and I think they're two of the other ones on tonight at 8.30. Um, the Cycle of Plays to be performed over three evenings. A couple is plagued by debt and gambling embarrassment, and everything seems to go wrong for them. This romp of a comedy by the master of the understatement and wit will be a night to remember, and no account really is a, a wit master. 5 p.m. on the 29th and 6 p.m. on the 31st, Blue Remembered Hills by Dennis Potter. Many of you may remember this play when it was first produced by North End and Players when we were at the Boathouse. That must be a previous venue, I guess. We were pleased to revive this dark and sometimes funny piece of drama. It concerns a group of seven-year-olds playing in the forest in the summer of 1943, unaware of the tragic events to follow. The most striking feature of the play is that although the characters are children, they are played by adult actors, a device that Potter used frequently in his work. And if you've seen the television play, which hasn't been on television for a long time, perhaps Dennis Potter isn't very politically correct at the moment, I don't know. But um, anyway, um, there we go. 3pm <clears throat> on the 29th of October, duets again by Peter Quilter, Blind Days again on its own this time. Come and join us for a three-in-one experience, 75 years of NPTC history by Andrew Folks, followed by Peter Quilter's one-act play Blind Date, and then get a chance to join the cast for a Q&A session afterwards. That sounds exciting, doesn't it? And then on 2pm on the 29th of October, the last one, Halloween Activities. Bring the children along on the Friday afternoon for a spooky hour of games, crafts, scary cake, and biscuit decorating, face painting competitions, Halloween decorations, glor um, ghostly story time, and much more. Dress up as your favourite Halloween character, ready for a trick or treating over the weekends. All children must be accompanied by adult drinks and a snack provided. The reason we've included that last bit, even though it's not a theatrical piece, is that it's a real community festival, isn't it? Real community event. And I haven't even gone over the third party. There are some other people. Um, doing some bits and pieces like some poetry, some musical evenings, um, all sorts. Um, so again, um, just to remind you of what to look up, you need to go to um, you need to go to www.northendenplayers.co.uk. Um, Stafford Players in the West Midlands, Staffordshire. Um, handbagged by Maura Buffini. That's from the 2nd to the 6th of November, so it's not too far to wait. At the Stafford Gatehouse Theatre, ST16 2LT. Um, over a period of 11 years, the two most powerful women in Britain meet regularly. Can you guess who they are? Um, in this sharply funny and feisty play, Maura Buffini imagines what it might, might have happened when the Queen Elizabeth II and Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher were face-to-face -face in private. They're the women, the Queen and Margaret Thatcher, Ronald and Nancy Reagan, Dennis Thatcher, and many other other political glitterati provide their supporting cast. They don't actually provide the supporting cast, obviously, because it'd be impossible with some of them being dead. This highly entertaining work will make you look afresh at the people who lead us. Um, Playing up Theatre Company in Somerset, South West, a Man in Havana by Graham Greene, which was adapted by Clive Francis. Um, that's going on on the 3rd to the 6th of November at the Rondo Theatre in Bath, BA16RT. And the bump sounds like this. Our Man in Havana is a Cold War comedy satire. 
Graham Greene is perhaps better known for his darker novels such as Brighton Rock, but the shorter, more amusing entertainments, as he dubbed them, include this Cold War satire. Some may remember the Cuban Missile Crisis of 1962. It was for a f- this is just before I was born. It was for a few weeks a display of Cold War brinkmanship between the USSR and the US that brought the world perilously close to a nuclear Armageddon. It is even the main plotline of X-Men First Class. Yet this novel was written four years before that occurred. In a case of life imitating art, perhaps? What makes this more than a straight page-to-stage adaptation is Clive Francis's clever use of four actors to multi-role in a fast and frenetic version that borrows conceptually from the 39 Steps, though it is much darker in concept, obviously. And lastly, the Peacehaven players gone right round the whole of um, the country, haven't we? East Sussex, which is the southeast um, in the district of Brighton and Hove, I guess. Um, so they're doing, of course, we got to involve one of the upcoming pantomimes. So this is Cinderella by David Morn, 27th of November to the 4th of December at the Meridian Centre, BN10 8BB. And just go to Peacehaven Players, Peacehaven Players. .co.uk. But I just want to go back to, sorry, a man in Havana. Let me give you the website. Go to rondotheatre.co.uk forward slash our hyphen man hyphen in hyphen Havana. Okay, rondotheatre.co.uk forward slash our man in Havana with hyphens in between all the words on our man in Havana. So back to the Peace Haven players and their upcoming pantomime of Cinderella in November and December. Um, as I said, the world's favourite pantomime given a magical new lease of life. This timeless tale of Cinderella who goes from rags to riches will delight our audiences of all ages. With mirth, magic and mayhem, it has all the right ingredients for a joyful start to Christmas. The story follows the traditional tale. The ugly stepsisters mistreat Miss Cinderella just to be nasty, because they can. Um, whoever can forget the scene where they tear up Cinderella's invite to the ball and all the children start crying. <laughs> it's terrible. It's really bad. Um, uh, the fair, faithful Buttons is in love with her. Cinderella's kindness to the old woman who turns out to be her fairy godmother. A magical transformation, a grand ball, and the handsome prince looking for love. A dramatic exit as the clock strikes midnight. The hunt for the slipper's owner and the glorious happy ending. Interwoven throughout are the comedy antics of Sergeant Let's Be Avenue. I like that one. Let's Be Avenue and his inept son, PC-99, while they search for the infamous virg- villain, Burglar Bill. Burglar Bill, I'll have that. I know Burglar Bill, all right. Um, I've got children of my own, so I know. <laughs> We've had the Burglar Bill. I didn't mean to do it in the first place when he falls off the piano stool. Anyway, there we go. That's enough of that for now. And um, you can go to the signings website, look up the productions, um, and go from there, really. Subscribe to this YouTube channel, subscribe to the latest issue. There's a new issue out of Sardines with Paul Nicholas on the front. There we are, look, just to show you it's real and it is it's it is real. Look, there it is and there's all the insides. It's the latest issue with Paul Nicholas on the front. This is as you saw him in EastEnders, of course. But um, originally he was in Hair, Jesus Christ Superstar, the, the first productions, by the way. Cats, the first production of Cats. And Just Good Friends on the BBC, he was a pop star, he, was, he did so much Paul Nicholas. Read about him in the latest issue, so there you go. And um, apart from that, stay safe, stay well, we'll be back. See you Wednesday, bye for now.